Hi guys, it's me Lily, and today I'm going to be talking about the behind the scenes of some of my thrift store looks so you guys can know what to look for, what not to look for, and some of the things I had to tweak a little bit for the video. Also, this shirt is from a thrift store. Even though I didn't put it in the video, some of the items that I wore were from really good brands. The white and gray striped t-shirt that I wore in the first look, that's from American Apparel. The purple jumpsuit is from ASOS. The blue heels were from Call It Spring. So don't think just because you're shopping at a thrift store you're going to get lower quality stuff. That's not necessarily true. I did have some trouble with the black sandals that I wore with the gold and black pant. When I first bought these shoes, I got them at Goodwill. One of the straps were undone, so I took it home and I hot glued it back together. But after a while, I realized that the back was too loose. So then I had to double the strap on this side and hot glue it again. But then you could see all the glue. It had yellow glue that I'm guessing the previous owner used to try to fix it. So then I bought black spray paint and matte and I resprayed the shoes and if you look closely you can kind of see like <laughs> where the spray paint dried unevenly but it didn't really make a big difference but it did cover all this part used to have yellow residue on it and of course I spray painted the other one um, just to make it even you know I didn't want one to be shiny and one to be matte or anything like that. So I had to spray paint and hot glue this shoe to make that look. The other thing is these black shoes. Really cute, a little hard to walk in, but you know, you do what you can. I lost the strap to one of these shoes. They're actually supposed to have straps. And they look really cute when they have the straps on. And I just couldn't find the other one. I was wondering if it was in my trunk or under my bed. I couldn't find it. They might be cuter with the strap. But instead of cutting off the little tail here that you can see, I just decided to keep it on. It didn't look bad. Like my ankle didn't look like it needed a strap. I thought that if I cut them, I might cut them unevenly, so I didn't even want to deal with that. But I did take the one strap that I had out of the other heel just to make it even. Confessions. Um... I stretched the truth just a little bit with the purple outfit. I said it was $30, but it was actually $31 when you include the tank top that I wore as an undershirt under the jumper just because it was really low cut. Um, so there's that. What I want to talk about today is what to look for when you're shopping in a thrift store and how to decide what you can work with, what you can deal with, and what you just can't put up with. So the first thing is to make sure that you have good quality. That means texture, that means style, that means fabric, no stains, no tears, at least nothing that you can't fix by yourself. Just make sure that it's a good quality item. If you went to Forever 21 or H&M or wherever you shop, could you find an item like this in this condition? Those are things that you want to ask. The second thing that you may want to consider when deciding whether or not you should buy something at a thrift store is whether or not it's your style. Thrift stores are full of things from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, last month. You can find any decade or any time period that you want. But if you go to a thrift store and you get an 80s leather jacket and you have nothing in your closet that you can wear it with, you're probably not going to wear that item like ever. Make sure that the clothes that you buy in the thrift store actually go and integrate into your wardrobe so that way you're not wasting money on something that you're never going to actually wear. The third thing is price. All thrift stores are not the same. I have a local thrift store that I used to volunteer at for two years and I love going there because it's inexpensive. They'll have half off the store, buy one get one free, all the time and their pants and shirts and dresses are only two dollars. Goodwill is a little bit more expensive. Their pants, shirts, and dresses tend to run between five and eight dollars. So you're spending more money and they don't really have a lot of good deals. Now, if I want to have a good day at thrift shopping, I will drive to LA, go to Melrose Avenue, and shop at Wasteland. That's the only name that I know. But because it's in LA, you have better choices because they have more people who wear designer clothes there and want to give them away to sell at stores. So you can really do some damage. However, their prices are much more expensive. So there, for example, you would have a skirt that costs $50 or shoes that cost $100. And even though that's not 
everything those are the majority of items in the store so when you go shopping in new york or la or miami make sure that you bring your money because it's not going to be inexpensive another place that i love and you can find anywhere is plato's closet i will give things to them to sell they will give me money back or store credit and then you just go shop your heart out you may find a dress for four dollars you may find one for twenty dollars they do have a range but they also have a great selection of clothing shoes purses bags, backpacks, even a men's section. So for pricing, when you set a budget to go thrift store shopping, make sure you go to a store that correlates. The last thing that you need to look for when you go thrift store shopping, and this is super important, make sure that it fits or that it could fit eventually. You know, it's easier and sometimes really less expensive to take something from a thrift store that's designer, that you love, that's great, and then just take it to a tailor and alter it for 15 or $20. A lot of the times, adding that amount of money and as a total spending about 40 or 50, $30, is better than going to a designer store, Nordstrom's or Macy's or Bloomingdale's or wherever you shop and getting a dress from them that may cost $80. Make sure that when you're trying on your clothes, if it doesn't fit you perfectly, to make sure that you could alter it in some way and make it wearable for yourself. None of the clothing that I wore in my thrift store video were altered except for the purple dress that I wore in outfit number six. One of the straps broke, so I had that fixed by a tailor. That's the only thing that was really altered. Um, nothing else was touched by a tailor. But that doesn't mean it shouldn't be. If you love something in a thrift store and it does not fit you, take it in. See what they can do. You're only going to be out of pocket 6 or $10. If the tailor can't make it work the way you want it to, it's not really a loss. You could resell it at a thrift store or at a yard sale. Also, don't be scared of getting a larger size that fits you correctly. A lot of the clothes that I wore in my video were larges, were size 10s. I don't like to wear my clothes super tight. I feel like you see more bad things when they're tight than good things. And when it's looser, you kind of get cleaner lines. So don't be scared. If you're a small, get a medium if it looks better. If you're a medium, get a large if it looks better. Only you are going to know the size you're wearing. And people are only going to go by the sizes that they see. The other thing is, depending on the store I'm at, I won't try on clothes there. So at my local store, it's a little grittier. It's a little bit more down to earth. And because the clothes are so inexpensive, I don't mind spending an extra dollar taking the clothes home, washing them, trying them on, and then taking them back if I don't like it. Goodwill, Plato's Closet, and thrift stores in LA tend to have better quality, but there are some hometown thrift stores where it's a little bit dusty and you don't know who last had on these clothes. So if it's nasty for you to shop at thrift stores, Try washing the clothes first and then trying them on and deciding. Comment below if you use a similar criteria or if you do something totally different. Some people flip a coin. Some people don't go thrift shopping at all. Comment, like, subscribe, stay sassy and all of that.